Hello, friends and fellow missionaries. This is Trevor Owen with a follow-up mission minute to my last post about Brett Kavanaugh and me. And this one is a more political post because I am deeply disappointed that Brett Kavanaugh was elected to the Supreme Court in a party line 50 to 48 split with two absentees on each side. And here's why I'm disappointed. Not because, not because there was an accusation made and it didn't seem to change the outcome. I will say as an aside, if you are a woman and there has been a man who has abused you, and this situation has inspired you to speak your truth, do not let, do not let the fact that that side didn't win out in this election silence you. Continue holding to that truth and share it with the world. Find a way to love and forgive. But use that and share it. We need those stories. But that aside, what deeply frustrates me about this election is that of the hundred and so odd people that we elect to be our leaders of our world, not one of them broke from party lines. And I see this, this happening, that we have made an idolatry out of our political party in our country. If you're a Republican, you stand staunch with the Republicans and Democrats are stupid. And if you are a Democrat, you stand staunch with the other liberals and Republicans are bigoted or hateful or just dumb. And it's like we have turned the political party into the hallmark of what is good and evil in our world, which is just stupid. Concepts of good and evil transcend far bigger things than our country. They transcend nations. They transcend human history. They transcend the physicality of our universe. I mean, they were established by God from the foundations of the everything. And they dwell beyond us. To call something good or evil is to invoke eternity. And here's the deal. We do that horribly. Like, I am a broken individual who muddles through life. Things are gray, not because there is no right and wrong, but because I just simply do not have the full capacity to grab it, grasp it. And so when I say somebody is evil or a group is evil. Like I am most often speaking from a position that is not my right to speak from. And we have taken the enormity of that and wrapped it up in something as frivolous and fleeting as a political leaning. Our world is in trouble. Our nation is in trouble. Our Christian church in America is in trouble. Because we have trumped Jesus' ideologies of people knowing we are Christians by our love. With people knowing we are Christians by our political party. When Jesus was trying to be tricked by the Pharisees into picking a political side by asking him whether or not people should pay taxes to the Romans, he's like, give to the Romans what are the Romans, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and give to God what is God's. In other words, I'm not picking a political side. You live for God. How have, we, how have we as Christians missed this in our world? We should be leading discourse with people on the other side. 
we should be the ones creating forums to bring together Democrats and Republicans and Green Party and liberal whatever and pick your poison group and saying let's talk about what's really important let's talk about wisdom let's talk about voting your conscience let's talk about pursuing who are the best and wisest and greatest people to lead our nation as opposed to trying to flesh out whether or not the other side is a more or less conservative liberal republican democrat party member Our mission as Christians is to fight for unity and to get God's love into our world. Our mission is, is to bring the kingdom of God into our world in such a way that it supersedes all the power-seeking positioning of our political realm. Now that doesn't mean we don't vote. But it just means that part of what we identify as and who we are should be so, so, so much below what it means to be up here following Christ. God, we have made an idol out of the power structures of our world. And we are hurting us and we are hurting the church, and we are hurting the mission of Jesus Christ because of it. May God forgive us, and may he heal us. Go find somebody that you don't like, and listen to them. Love them. Find a way to be unified despite that. And always stay on the real mission. See you around.